this origin from the Book of the Dead, uh -huh. and you try to teach that from some, they accuse you of a witch, they would take you to a lake and put you on a fulcrum and make you confess your sins, and then they'd steal your estate. It would be split between the church, the local church, the sheriff, mm -hmm. and others. And that's how the churches in North America got their wealth. And that's mm -hmm. a fact and provable. Mm -hmm. and more, uh, yes, this wow. is why you have areas across this country that they call, still call Salam, mm -hmm. Salem. Salem, Salem, Salem mm -hmm. yeah, a lot mm -hmm. of our women, were, they that won't talk peace. that kind of history. Mm -hmm. They'll just talk about the lynchings and stuff like that. And this is why they take your turban and, and, and uh, like you see the, on the pancake box where they have mm -hmm. Aunt Jemima. Yeah, Aunt Jemima. You know, yeah, now even though a lot of our women would wear the knot, they would <coughs> represent the pineal gland. Mm -hmm. They would do it in, 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 under the symbolism of shutting down the pineal gland. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So a lot of things are there. Right. Now, uh -huh. this is where you see one of the pictures of Abraham Lincoln mm -hmm. from a newspaper in the 1800s when he was running for president. Mm -hmm. Right, which mm -hmm. you all all know, mm -hmm. and he, they have him dressed in Moorish garb. Mm -hmm. And the satirical about that is, is that he was doing things that was against <coughs> the Inquisition operations, etc. Um, because they were under the um, Unum Sanctum policy, stealing our land. Like, say, if you're here, mm -hmm. the Christians would come. And keep in mind, they're really Constantinians hiding behind the name Christian. Mm -hmm. So you gotta remember that. They come to, to the land and according to the Constantinian doctrine, you actually didn't exist mm -hmm. if you were not Christianized. <clears throat> they would murder you, your children, take you mm -hmm. out in the woods and bury you and claim the land. Mm -hmm. And this is where you get to go west, young man, mm -hmm. even with Horace mm -hmm. Greeley and them, the Wiggle Party. <coughs> oh. All those discovery. things, they will just steal your land, murder you. And mm -hmm. this is why when you go in, like you can go into county records as an example. If you want to look mm -hmm. up lots of properties, you'll see that the early lots that they're, that are typical now is mm -hmm. usually early 1800s. When you go back further than that, you don't see There's the lots because they didn't exist. Mm -hmm. You know, and our people don't know because they don't <coughs> teach them the real history. Um, now, one of the things, other things that they would always do is uh, they would choose the reverends and the pastors from among us who were conversos. Mm -hmm. And conversos are Moors and Yahudi because we're Moors and Jews. Oh, this goes. Mm -hmm. Jews is, is a misnomer. We're Yahudi from those who converted, and they call them conversos, who would sell out their own people. And that's who they picked their pastor stock from and they became the overseers mm -hmm. and this is why mo all of them traditionally are masons the original house name. and then pretend that they don't know the real history mm -hmm. and start promoting the, the idea that our people came from someplace else mm -hmm. but anyway let's go through a synopsis now the William Dungey case is, is, is this it's a slander case and and you must understand that all uh, the Negro black and colored brands were originated to brand you, and if there was no proof, if you had no nationality, they could steal your estate, nullify any marriage, and run you out, wow. which is part of the game that they've been doing to gentrify mm -hmm. in the first place. Now, so they called William Dungey Black Bill. That was their slander nickname. Now, uh, m many of you who are older, many of you who are younger don't have a reference, but those who are old, or older know about five generations ago if you called our people black you had a fight yeah now they actually think it's an identity because the corruption that has that has seeped into our people has made the brand system legitimate and they will defend it now not knowing it steals their birthright so this is a proof in a law case of the nature of why that would take place now among 10, uh, th this is versus the Black Laws, 1855. Uh, Abraham Lincoln was a lawyer. Mm -hmm. um, there's another history with that, which we can go into, which we'll talk later. Um, now among 10 original Abraham Lincoln documents discovered last summer in DeWitt, DeWitt County Courthouse in Illinois is a bond for cost in William Dungey versus Joseph Spencer. Written but not signed by Abraham Lincoln, the bond was part of an interesting slander case. Keep this in mind, it's a slander case. But mm -hmm. you must know the consequences of slander, not mm -hmm. just the slander, the consequences. 
All right. Now, family disputes that degenerated into slanderous name calling feuds frequently appeared in antebellum Illinois circuit courts. Antebellum means before the Civil War. Mm. Are we clear? Like BC. <laughs> yeah, that's what that term means. Mm. All right. Such cases reflected the intent of American slander law to safeguard an individual's good reputation in the community against petty character assassination. So people don't know that that's character assassination. Now they don't know it, but when people were more conscious and understand how sociology works, they knew it was actually a, an, an attack and they're getting ready to steal your estate. Mm. You know, nullify mm. your marriage and just take everything from you. They could even kill you if they wanted to. Mm. They usually would run you out, but mm. they could even do that. Now, uh, so such cases reflected the intent of American slander law to safeguard an individual's good reputation in the community against petty character assassination. Abraham Lincoln realized the value of reputation and declared in his first printed political speech that every man is said to have a peculiar ambition and I have no other so great as of being truly esteemed by my fellow men. One unique slander case Abraham Lincoln argued in DeWitt County Court, Circuit Court, Clinton, Illinois, in the May and October 1855 terms involved much more than a defamation of character and suggested that um, Huck Finn's friend Jim might have reconsidered his plan to escape to freedom. And I reckoned at by four in the morning, I'd slip in before daylight and swim ashore and take to the woods on the Illinois side. Now, in August of 1851, when Dungey, a dark-skinned young man of Portuguese descent, this is very important for people to know the real history. All Asiatics, all Asiatics, even of other nation territories, are more. That must be understood. Clear. So he's of Portuguese descent. Moro. But he's still of Moorish descent. Oh, he said Portuguese. Oh, it's a Portugal. Portugal. It's actually Portugal. Yeah, even yeah, Christopher Portugal. Columbus was Portuguese. Yeah, Portugal. Or Italian. All yeah. Them. Now, even Italians, like if you are not out to lunch, they'll tell you that, they're, that they yeah. have more blood, particularly yeah. Sicilians. Yeah, yeah. That's why Sicilians yeah. dress like us and act like us. They're yeah. pretty cool. They, mm -hmm. You ain't going to find them with no corny shoes on. That way they get that leather corny clothes. Yeah. You know, wearing, all that, wearing all that crocodile and all they that. They dress like, just like Moors. <laughs> yeah. Except the, cool. those who don't know their Moors will say they dress like brothers. Yeah. Yeah. Mm <laughs> and they're very particular about things like that. And the choice of color combinations, everything. Mm -hmm. They're more cognizant of those things. That's because that's more culture. Right. right. The whole um, mafioso thing. Yeah. Uh, so one unique slander case Abraham Lincoln argued in DeWitt County Circuit Court, Clinton, Illinois, in the May and October 55 terms involved much more than defamation of character. Uh, and now in August of 51, uh, William Dungey, a dark-skinned man of Portuguese descent, um, married a European woman. European, not white, because remember they didn't start calling themselves white. Yeah. Six, about yeah. this time, 54. Mm. And then, that's to steal our estate. Mm. Um, and these Europe's are things that, that the so-called black scholars won't teach their own people too. They tell them that that means identity of skin. Mm. Lying and know that they're lying. Mm. Damaging these children and acting like the devil did it. Mm -hmm. They were extreme hypocrites. So, um, so Joseph Spencer's sister, that's who he married, mm -hmm. and a family car, a quarrel ensued, which became a, so bitter that in January of, of 1855, Joseph Spencer, logically a European, claimed throughout the community that his brother-in-law, Black Bill, was a Negro. Now, mm -hmm. so it's two brands, that's two slanders, you see. Mm -hmm. So, uh, since 1819, Illinois state law permitted quasi-slavery and restricted the immigration of free blacks into the state. As other northern uh, states passed uh, personal liberty laws granting additional rights um, to, excuse me, to free blacks, and these are different statuses too that they set up. Mm -hmm. Illinois State toughened its stance against them. In 1848, Illinois State Constitution required the General Assembly to pass such laws as will effectively prohibit 
free persons of color, you know that means artificial persons, outside right. the human family. Mm -hmm. uh, from immigrating to and settling in the state, these prohibitions against human rights were passed as the black laws. Mm -hmm. And went into force on January the 12th of 1853, the same date of the future emancipators Lincoln's 44th birthday. William Dungey faced losing not only his reputation, but he faced losing his marriage, his property, and his right to remain in Illinois. So you see the damage that they really did. And this has been the practice even to this day. The difference is that our people aren't aware of the black codes and they just think that they're disrespecting black people. They're carrying out the Christian black codes against our people. You know what I mean? Um, yes. Now, um, 